Hi, welcome to Front Porch Foodie. I'm Megan, and if you've never been with us before, but you probably haven't, because this is the very first episode, um, I am interviewing local foodies, and we're sitting down to have a cocktail. And for my first guest, I have Christina from Girl Gone Drips. Hello. And she has made us these lovely drinks. So what are we drinking today? This is a Royal Paloma, and it's a quick little drink that you can whip together because you really need to whip things together quickly in this heat. It's <laughs> triple digit heat out here in Texas. As all our ice is melting yeah, already. Yeah, <laughs> consistently, but um, basically it's just a um, silver tequila, lime, and blood orange soda to top it off. Very quick. And it's very good. So, very tasty. So, you have a food blog. I do. It's called Girl Gone Grits. And how long have you been blogging? Um, well, I've been blogging since 2009. And um, I started off just as a blog in hopes to, um, when I moved out here, to let my family know what I was doing and um, the food I was trying here in Texas because I came um, from California, moved out here, and um, I wanted a, a way to connect with my family um, socially so they could read some of the stories that I was doing and some of the things I was working on, and um, it made perfect sense to start a blog, um, but I had no idea how big the food blogging <laughs> community is here in Austin, Texas until probably um, after a year of mm. writing my food blog. Then I realized there's just this huge community of food bloggers. And it's really exploded in the past couple of years too. Oh it's yeah. It's just, every time I turn around there's another food blogger and it's someone, not necessarily who's new, but just someone I hadn't found before and everyone's really great at it. It's so cool. Um, my blog, Girl Gone Grits. The Grits is an acronym for um, Girls Raised in the South. And since I wasn't raised in the South, but I got here, um, hence the Girl Gone Grits. And um, I mostly write about uh, stories from my past and my present, and hopefully places that I'll go to in my future here in Texas. Um, but it's basically a short recipe and just a little bit of a story uh, about that recipe and how it inspired me. And then, uh, what is your favorite restaurant to eat, in, eat at in Austin? Oh my goodness. I have to say, that changes daily. Yeah, it's hard. It is such a difficult um, place. I mean, if you had to break it down, for me, you'd have to break it down for what's your favorite date place, what's your favorite place <laughs> to go with friends. Um, my husband and I definitely enjoy Fabi and Rossi. It's a great little um, German bistro. And it's small, it's in a house, and Wolfgang, the chef there, is just amazing. Um, local right here ne next to where we live, I'd have to say Jack Allen's. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, the list goes on and on. And if you wanted to choose a different place to eat or a different restaurant um, every night for a whole year, I really believe you would not go to more than, you, you pick a different place. Yeah. There's, it's just that diverse here, and it depends on the culture and what kind of food you like. But for me, I have to say, um, it's just constantly getting out there and finding new places. I generally don't continue to go to the same place, but if I did, Bobby and Rossi is one that we generally tend to go to more often than not. Great. Yeah. I've never been to that one, so. I love it. Where was it located? Um, it's over there off by D. Betty. Oh, okay. Um, off of Lake Austin Boulevard okay. there. Off, it's in a residential area. It's a, he made it out of a house. and. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been there for a few years, and it's just going strong, and it's a great little neighborhood spot with really good prices, absolutely wonderful food, all sustainable, local. Um, so he just does a really great job, he and his wife. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think that's all the questions I have today, so I just wanted to say thank you for inviting me over to your backyard, even though the name is Front Porch, but we're in the back porch today. Oh. Um, so thanks, everyone, for joining in, and...